Hi geeks, welcome to Today in History, your daily dose of fun facts, conspiracies and all that good stuff. Wednesday, November 18th. Let's start November 18, going back to the Middle Ages, where in 1307, legendary William Tell is supposed to have shot an apple off his son's head. Wait, don't tell me you have not heard of William Tell before. This guy is Switzerland's national hero, and no, he was not a chocolate maker, he was a badass crossbow warrior. The story goes something like this. Once upon a time, there was a body terrorizing the peaceful Swiss people, and our hero, William, defied him. Bow to your hat and nine! To punish his defiance, the tyrant wanted to execute both William and his son, but had a more cruel idea. <laughs> he told William that he could spare their lives if he could shot an apple off the head of his son from a distance of 120 paces, to which William said, Are you kidding, Mitch? Not Orlish! And bam! Apple is gone, and the body is like, What? Then I will imprison you for life! Only that William managed to escape, and of course went back to the tyrant and said, Yodolo, hoo hoo! While well, he put an arrow through his evil forehead. That act of defiance motivated all the other Swiss people to start a rebellion which would lead to the formation of the Swiss Confederation. And after that, they started raising purple cows, became chocolate makers, made complicated watches and kept tons of banking secrets. So with so much going on, of course there's no more time for fighting. Next Tuesday also marks the 87th anniversary of the release of Walt Disney's animated short Steamboat Willie, which is the first fully synchronized sound cartoon ever. Sure, who cares, but wait for it. Because that day is also considered Mickey's birthday! Yeah! But that's not really true, is it? Actually, Disney had made two silent Mickey Mouse films before, but they had been kind of a flop. Would that stop him? No way! He was committed to make it work, and he thought that adding sound to the cartoon would make it way cooler. Good thinking, my friend, good thinking. However, the first attempt to synchronize the recording with the film was a disaster, so the only way was to try again. But how are you gonna afford it? People said. Well, he sold his car, and to save money, he himself performed all the voices. And the result changed entertainment history forever. So, that's all for today. If you need more, check out the full next week in history video or just wait patiently, because we have a new video tomorrow. See you, geeks. Bye.